So we have already made one video on IIIT Hyderabad, uh, this PGEE postgraduate exam, entrance exam. That is for all those students who do not have any GATE score, their GATE score is not there, but still they want to do masters and get into very good jobs, uh, really good package jobs. Uh, IIIT Hyderabad is a place for all of you. And uh, those of you who do not have very high GATE score or moderate GATE score, but still they want a good package 20-25 lakh per annum plus package, they can enter into IIIT Hyderabad. Now uh, there was a question that uh, so IIITs are not for students of uh, you know mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, agriculture engineering, mathematics, basic science and all. You know when you go through this uh, application in detail, you will find that yes there are certain opportunities for all these students also. Though the exam PGEE they have given syllabus of only couple of branches that video I will upload in detail. They have given the syllabus for civil engineers, computer science engineering, electronics and electrical engineering that, that can mathematics the syllabus of only these four domains they have given and specifically they have mentioned for computer science and civil engineers. So IIIT Hyderabad is a wonderful institute in my opinion for civil engineers because they have kept a very dedicated uh, specialized course for civil engineers. We find that for civil engineering the kind of placement opportunities in other institutes are less but since IIIT Hyderabad is going with a dedicated you know uh, courses for civil engineers and they uh, IIIT Hyderabad does not induct students if they are not in position to provide the placement. So those civil engineers who are looking for career opportunities in uh, you know masters and get really good package they can join IIIT Hyderabad and they can write this exam of PGEE. So uh, I am uh, going to discuss with you that uh, if you are mechanical engineer, chemical engineer, agriculture engineer or other branches engineer can you write PGEE or not that is the uh, uh, you know this video is all about that. So when you go for eligibility list of their uh, this IIIT Hyderabad, you will find that they have mentioned for MTech program, they have mentioned eligibility criteria for computer science and engineering courses like you should be BTech, BE, you for even computer science MTech, you can be BE, BTech and all from any branch you know. Uh, so but the subject test you have to write it in computer science. There are many of you who are from mechanical engineering background or elect, uh, agriculture engineering background, but they want to shift their branch to computer science. Can they do, do that? Can mechanical engineer do MTech in computer science? Answer is yes, you can do that. And there are two options. One is you have to write the exam in computer science, the syllabus of which they have given. So if you have some background and obviously your PDA mentors will guide you for that, they will provide you the classes for that, that classes are integral part of our post gate counselling. So competitive exam classes we are providing in post gate counselling for all of you. So if you have background in computer science and you want to uh, shift your line from mechanical engineering to computer science, you can do that. So can um, all branches student write uh, exam subject exam of computer science in IIIT Hyderabad answer is yes you can do that. Even for computer science and information uh, security system computer aided structural engineering you should be BTEC in civil engineering only. Here you can be from all branches but here only civil engineering. Product design and management I think they are as of now not going for this particular course. And when we come to, yes, when we come to MS or PhD program in computer science and engineering, again all branches are eligible and you see here for this uh, there is no subject test. That is something which is good. So if you want to do MTech, there is a subject test. If you don't want to do MTech, if you want to do MS, then there is no subject test. That is something which is a catch I was telling you. So if you want, if you are from, uh, if you are from mechanical engineering background and you want to do MS in computer science engineering, then you know all branches people can appear and there is no subject test. You can fill the form and if they you know uh, call you for interview, you are to face the interview. Written test is not there, but interview is there. <clears throat> Similarly bioinformatics, so MSc in fundamental science you know like uh, 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 the basic sciences may if you have done your MSc like chemistry or physics or something and if you want to get into that domain for MS you can get into that. Interview will be there, written test will not be there. So see this carefully. For MTech there are written subject test, 
for ms you do not have written test there is only interview you can go for that and uh, similarly for phd uh, you do not have written test there is only interview uh, of different branches if you are there so computational natural sciences that is also a good domain uh, if you want to go into that so sir i am from particular branch of engineering i want to study in triple it hyderabad i don't want to write even written exam so can i do that yes ms and phd me you can do that what do they want they want very high cgpa maybe from your side uh, and interview will be there so interview ke liye you have to prepare you have to tell them why you want it and how you will be good for them and you may get selected into that cognitive sciences and uh, uh, yes no see this general aptitude test is uh, compulsory for all these branches so there will be general aptitude test subject test may not be there but general aptitude test will be there and your pd is going to help you for a general aptitude test so there are always some kind of things which students are not aware like how can mechanical engineer enter into triple it hyderabad and what course he will do uh, mechanical engineer can do his masters in computer science and get a very good package from that college he is to appear for interview and general aptitude test and pursue ms course if he is ready to write competitive uh, written exam he can write written exam also but he is not confident in written exam interview mein he is okay he can appear for interview and he can go forward with that particular thing this is how you need to understand the things and proceed forward ms in it in building science you know so what is the eligibility all branches uh, you know you should be be taken all branches are eligible bachelor of architect is also uh, you know you can also go into that so if i want to go for ms in ms in it in building science so can why why electronic engineer will go into that building automation and control is your domain as electronic engineer as mechanical engineer can i land up in triple it hyderabad uh, as mechanical engineer and if yes what i need to do general aptitude test you have to write which your pd mentors are going to guide you and interview you have to face interview uh, for ms even if you don't want to write the subject exam so building uh, automation and control maybe electronics electrical guys building science building energy simulation mechanical engineers can go we talk about green buildings nowadays and all introduction to lighting design that is also mechanical engineering domain so that is also one option which you have so uh, you know when i go for this mtech computer aided structural engineering and it in building science these are the two domains which are there for civil engineers and architect engineers you can go into that and uh, when you go for this mtech in computer aided structural engineering these are the objectives they have covered for them you can go for these kind of domains i mean this is for typically civil engineers so triple uh, it hyderabad for civil engineers these two i will make a separate video on this these two domains may you can go for it so this is phd in it in building science this is how it can be done so i believe uh, this uh, information which i provided you will be very very helpful for you so there are students who are not very clear about the things like when we talk about triple it's they think it is only for computer science electronics etc actually it is not it is for basic sciences also it is for uh, all branches of engineering also there may be written test there may be only interview but you need to be good in particular field uh, there are ms courses which are related to your field only but they are putting some kind of courses which in increase your employment opportunities in my opinion you need to explore the options you need to take the first step i told you that in india there are so many courses so many institutes offering you good courses you need to prepare yourself for this so that you can land up in good courses and get really good job so keep watching other such relevant informative videos so that you can plan your journey with your pedia for getting selected into these kind of courses